Hello and welcome to my new video. We haven't seen each other for a while, but I'm happy to announce that I'm back on YouTube. As you probably know, in a few days the third Bitcoin halving is going to happen. There has been so much rumored about it, and it's not at hard to feel confused by all of that overwhelming news. So, basically the purpose of that video is to simplify the process and make it easy to understand. New Bitcoins are issued by the Bitcoin network every 10 minutes. For the first four years of Bitcoin existence, the amount of new Bitcoins issued every 10 minutes was 50. Every four years, this number is cut in half. Today, the amount halves is called halving or halvening. In 2012, the amount of new Bitcoins issued every 10 minutes dropped from 50 Bitcoins to 25. In 2016, it dropped from 25 to 12 and a half. Now, in May's halving, the one that we are awaiting, it will drop from 12 and a half to 6 and one quarter. And first things first, economically. The halving decreases the amount of new bitcoins generated per block. That means the supply of new bitcoin is lower. In normal markets, lower supply with steady demand usually leads to higher prices. That's the fact that we have all probably learned in our high school. It's a basis of economy. Since the halving reduces the supply of new bitcoins and demand usually remains steady, the halving has usually preceded some of bitcoin's largest runs. And as we have seen in the last days, the price has rapidly increased. But all of the things that I have said were kind of theoretical, and you might finally wonder whether it's just a theory or it is seen in the real world as well. So, does bitcoin's price actually increase after it goes through a halving event? Let's get straight to the facts. After the 2012 halving, the price of BTC rose briefly from 11 to 12, just before catapulting to over 1,000 in just one year. Then, many blocks later, in July 2016, Bitcoin went through another price surge, and that one we probably know and have in mind as the Bitcoin's golden era, the one that Bitcoin was at its highest at almost $20,000 per one Bitcoin. And all of that you can see on the chart that I'm presenting you. But what does it mean to us investors that all halving event? How can we turn into money? Well, I think it basically means that the time left before the upcoming halving is a very last call to buy Bitcoin. With the terms of upcoming crisis, it's a very good investment because of the high probability of predicted weakness of traditional currencies. Everything will go down, but in my opinion the Bitcoin will stay as it should stay, as the cryptocurrency should be for our era. And, well, that's it for today. And just a quick announcement. I will be starting a new Italian series of videos, so beginning with that one, content on that channel will be also available in Italian. As usual, all the links you need are in the description below. And stay tuned. Bye.